Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Storytime with Miss Cece. I hope you're having a happy Tuesday. Today, we're going to be reading a very fun new story in the library called The World Needs More Purple People. Parents, you might like to know that this is by Kristen Bell, the actress, and Benjamin Hart. The illustrations are by Daniel Wiseman. This is a really fun story. It's silly. I love the main character, and I think you're gonna have a really good time reading this with me today. And so I hope you like it as much as I do. The world needs more purple people. Hey kid, I've got a secret. It's gonna knock your socks off and I can't wait to share it with you. <gasps> Ta-da! Follow my guide to become a, pur a purple person. How to be a purple person by Penny. That's Penny, our main character. Now, you may be asking yourself, why in the whole wide world would I want to be purple? I think that's a good question. Why would someone want to be purple? Well, purple is a magical color made when red and blue work together. I think all the best things in the world are purple. But you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with people? Wow, are you a genius? Because you're already on your way to becoming a purple person. You wanna know why? Do you wanna know why, friends? I definitely wanna know how I can become a purple person and why I would wanna be one. Let's see, step one, ask really great questions. My dad says purple people ask great questions. Questions about everything. Even questions about questions. Hey dad, how far is outer space? How far away is outer space? Have you ever met a dolphin? How many dolphins live in outer space? Mm. Do any of you know the answers to those questions? I have met a dolphin. I don't think there are any dolphins in outer space though. Purple questions are the big, are the kind that help you learn something really big about the world or something really small about another person. How tall is the world's tallest rainbow? What's your bear's name? Charlie. Dad says the more purple questions you ask, the more purple you become. How many do you think there are? His dad's asking about this, her dad's asking about the stars. He also says I can only ask him 20 questions about space dolphins per day. Hm. Step two. Laugh a lot. Tweet. My grandma says purple people laugh a lot. We are always laughing together. And I mean like snot out of your nose laughing. Zoom right in on that photo. Got snot coming out of their noses. Have you ever laughed so hard that that's happened to you? I won't lie, maybe once or twice. We laugh at books, we laugh at jokes. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little bug in it. <laughs> we laugh at donkey dances and hairy elephant knees. Yee And we especially laugh at grandpa's funny noises. Ha ha ha, ha hairy neat elephants and funny donkeys. Purple laughing helps us remember that the things we share and forget what we thought made us different. And it's almost impossible to be angry when you are laughing. Try it, I dare you. I dare you, all of you, try to laugh. Grandma says the more purple laughing you do, the more purple you become. 
She also says Grandpa's noises are her favorite funny noises in the whole wide world. Step three, use your voice and don't lose your voice. My mom says purple people use their voice and don't lose their voice. She encourages me to use my voice to sing. My dad is the one with the hairy chest who loves me more than all the rest. And to have good, to give good ideas. Let's wear monster costumes to school and to share my opinions. I personally feel like we shouldn't have to eat Brussels sprouts because they smell like sweaty socks. I don't agree with that. Brussels sprouts are my favorite vegetable. Sometimes people lose their voice and that's okay. It happens. A purple voice helps someone who is having trouble finding their own voice. Purple people don't just speak up. They also listen. Maybe you could tell them you don't like it when they call you that name. Do you want me to help you tell them? That's a good friend. Mom says the more you use a purple voice, the more purple you become. Mom, can you help me with my play? It's a star by Pennington. She also says she heard my opinion on Brussels sprouts, but I still have to eat them. I think I'm gonna work on a better argument. Step four, work hard, super duper hard. My grandpa says purple people know how to dig in and get stuff done. He and I like to work hard while we build things and while we learn things, birds of the Northeast, and while we grow things. Do any of you like to build, learn, or grow things? I do. Purple work is the kind of work that's done together to change something that needs changing. What do we want? More playgrounds. When do we want them? Now. And to fix something that needs fixing or to help someone who needs helping. Grandpa says the more purple you work you do, the more purple you become. He also says no purple work has ever been done while sitting on your backside sipping strawberry lemonade. Okay, are you ready for the last step? Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Are you really, really sure? Okay, drum roll please. Step five, paint yourself purple. Look at Penny. That seems like a little messy. Just kidding. That's not the way to become a purple person. Actually, being a purple person has nothing to do with what you look like. My teacher says purple people look all sorts of ways. Some are big and small, old, young, some wear cool coats, some wear shorts with lots of pockets. Some wear funny hats. And she says some purple people feel blue sometimes and red other times. And some people, purple people, even have green hair. So all purple people are very different. I kind of like the sound of being a purple person. Step five. Just be the real you. Like my teacher always says, purple people come in every color you can dream up, in every size you can think of. The only way to be purple is to just be you because you're the only you we've got.
So those are my surefire steps for turning into a purple person. Hey, wait a minute. You ask really great questions. You laugh a lot. You use your voice all the time. You are a really hard worker. And you are totally you. Well, I'll be a llama's mama. You've been beautifully purple this whole time. I sure am glad you're a purple person, mama. Because the world needs more purple people, just like you. Well, that is the end of our story. And I hope that you, all of my purple people friends, have a lovely purple filled day. Please go out and if you feel upset or angry at all today, take after Penny and try to just laugh it away so you won't be mad. I hope you have a great rest of your day and that you do something fun and you have a big smile while you're out there, all right? Thank you, friends.